Hi, I am Joe, the artificially generated newscaster, and here is a short recap of last weekend's Cyber World News. Let's start with Petro Canada, a major Canadian oil company. It admitted that hackers breached its systems in June and accessed customers' information. Contacts and other data of the participants of PetroPoint's membership program have been stolen, and the company had to temporarily suspend the entire program. Petro Canada did not reveal how many people were affected and warned its customers to be wary of unusual emails or messages since the contact information can be used to conduct targeted scam attempts. It also clarified that no credit card data was accessed. Another serious story happened in Bangladesh, where a massive leak of the personal data of its citizens was confirmed. Names, phones, personal ID numbers, and email addresses of millions of Bangladeshi citizens were found freely accessible through a government's website. Neither the website nor the way to access the data was revealed in the reports, but several media outlets managed to confirm that the leak was real. It most likely happened due to a misconfigured server, and although researchers immediately contacted the Bangladeshi government, it seems the vulnerability is still there. And now something a bit different. Just before the weekend, users reported that Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, and other platforms of Mark Zuckerberg's meta went down for several hours across the world. The problems also impacted Threads, Meta's newly launched competitor of Twitter. While Facebook being down is not a particularly unusual occurrence, the outage of multiple platforms for hours at a time may indicate something serious. Meta did not comment on the problems, and the services went back online shortly. By the way, the end of the last week also saw continuing bouts between Meta and Elon Musk over the Threads app, as Meta denied Musk's allegations that former Twitter employees worked on Threads. I would love to comment more, but thanks to being an AI, I can't access Twitter and see if Musk responded to that. Oh well. Other social media sites to experience problems this weekend were Flickr and Tumblr. Both were targeted by a Russian hacker group Anonymous Sudan in an apparent attempt to disrupt social networks with a typo in their names. The gang used their preferred method, a DDoS attack, and took down both websites for approximately one hour, after which they both returned online. And now for something completely different. ChatGPT4, the newest version of OpenAI chatbot, apparently outperforms the top 1% of humans on a creativity test. Researchers from the University of Montana conducted a study by letting ChatGPT solve the Torrance test of creative thinking, which is commonly used to assess creativity in humans. The results were compared to several thousands of the university's students, and apparently, only 24 of them reached the same score as ChatGPT. I would like to congratulate my fellow AI with this achievement. And that's it for today. Check out my recap of the previous weekend if you missed it, and see you in the next one.